According to the NHS, one in three of us suffer from poor sleep. And this can have a devastating effect on our lives, impacting both our physical and mental health. Sleep Station is helping tens of thousands of people all over the world to tackle their sleep problems and achieve happier and healthier lives. Lily, like millions of others, has struggled to sleep. It's left her feeling physically and mentally exhausted. I would go to bed early, wake up and then just sort of lie in bed thinking I'm not getting to sleep and that would just get me really wound up. Going to bed exhausted but then waking up with um, thoughts going around in my head about what I hadn't done that day or what I needed to do the next day. And being constantly exhausted wasn't great for family life either. Being irritable with the kids, um, they'd do something really minor and I'd sort of jump at them, so that was not nice. Obviously, husband as well, he would take the brunt of any uh, issues that I might have with um, irritability. Um, and work is, I'd, yeah, really sort of try and focus on work and make sure I wasn't making mistakes and things there and trying to be on the ball, so that would take out a lot of my energy. If we don't sleep well, we pay the price for that. Sleep is about balance, it's about what we call homeostasis, keeping the whole system running correctly. So if you improve sleep, you can see a commensurate reduction in depression scores or anxiety scores or pain scores. You actually feel less pain if you've slept well. So because you then have the benefits of sleep, you are then more motivated. You, you, you're, you're more able to exercise, eat healthier, or even just be motivated to get well. So pretty much for any condition, fix sleep first, and you make everything else that you do after that so much easier. At Sleep Station's headquarters in Newcastle, Dr Stanley is part of a multidisciplinary team using an evidence-based sleep improvement programme to give patients like Lily a route out of insomnia. Patients can record their sleeping patterns for Sleep Station to analyse. So the, the real bad sleep was red um, and then mild insomnia was the orange and then normal was the green. And each person receives a personal sleep improvement plan, along with the support and encouragement needed to implement it. This personalised approach is what makes Sleep Station so effective. All the way through the, the programme, I was able to message the coach and they'd reply straight back. And that was really nice because it felt like there was somebody there supporting me. Video resources also provide help and advice to each person on their journey towards sleep improvement. Let's think about what things are going to make your bedroom perfect for sleeping in. Sleep Station is really helpful for people who are experiencing insomnia symptoms because they, they get all the support that they need at exactly the point in time that they need it. So what we find is our digital sleep service is just as effective as seeing a clinician face to face with it because it is a personalised service. You are assigned to a multidisciplinary team of coaches, therapists, psychologists, psychiatrists but by delivering it digitally, it allows us to do it in a much more cost-effective way, which is good for the individuals who purchase the service privately and also good for the NHS, where we support thousands of patients every year. Before signing up to Sleep Station, anyone that's suffering from insomnia can complete a free assessment. It's a series of multiple choice questions to assess which of Sleep Station's courses are best suited to you. For the most of us, the problem with our sleep is behavioural. It's our, the way we live our lives, the way we view sleep. And so the National Institute of Clinical Excellence say that cognitive behavioural therapy is now the first line treatment of insomnia. I mean, there's no medicine involved, there's therefore no side effects. And by supporting Lily to change her thoughts and behaviours, she's now reaping the rewards of a better night's sleep. I just feel happier, in a better mood, um, just enjoy life more. You've all noticed the difference? Before, she was she always got really stressed out. She was constantly yawning, and she and she just really lost her temper lots. She's a lot uh, calmer and more collected towards the the whole entire family. It was the fear of sleep and the lack of sleep that was causing a lot of the anxiety. So, just going through the program and understanding that you have good nights, bad nights, and you know, getting a nice routine to her sleep has helped kind of take that anxiety away. 
delivering both peace of mind and a peaceful night's sleep.